uh, again, this is the same law firm, uh, which is uh, referring to the federal lawsuit that Luis Aliasm filed against the Middle Art Minor um, Trailer Community for discrimination, housing discrimination, persecution, attempted murder, uh, and other um, federal uh, charges. Uh, since the uh, Middle Art Minor, uh, Diane Dane, uh, and uh, Elwood Simmons, uh, as well as the landlord have attempted to assassinate Luis Aliasm and myself at least half a dozen times by sending police officers here to shoot us down, who are their friends, by trying to get into a trailer in the middle of the night, uh, uh, by breaking an entry into uh, our home and leaving uh, the back door open so an assassin can come at night and uh, assassinate us by uh, leaving the uh, front uh, door window uh, open uh, so uh, an assassin can put his hand inside the uh, door and open the uh, lock from the inside and get access to us and assassinate us, etc., etc., etc. This one reads Luis Aliasm versus Metal Arc Minor E T A L. Dear Ms. Aliasm, we represent Merrill Lark Minor. We will not be answering the alleged complaint with the caption Luis Aljasson against Ellie Newman, Witt, and others, indicating that it was um, bought in it was uh, brought in federal district court and bearing index number 16 BC 1297. Said papers are jurisdictionally and otherwise defective. Uh, very truly yours, James W. Campbell. Uh, they're not as defective as uh, he says they are because uh, they were given a docket number and accepted by the federal court uh, and uh, a licensed, he has the style of a licensed um, lawyer uh, who practice, uh, practices in federal uh, court. So. They're not as defective. Notice that they, he doesn't mention that it was because of discrimination, attempted murder, and other things. Uh, just like he doesn't mention that um, they are uh, doing the illegal eviction because um, the said uh, Middle Lark Minor landlord and um, manager are uh, friends with. Diana Dane, and we reported her trafficking of uh, citizens' identities and government benefits, and uh, they refused to do the repairs as per her order. Uh, so we leave, and since we didn't, we couldn't leave. They uh, are illegally evicting us and saying that we we stopped paying the rent when uh, they they uh, didn't receive the rent after we received this. Uh, invalid eviction notice, 30 days notice, uh, after they refused to do the repairs. So we were waiting for the court to get our court date so we can um, explain this and the case can be knocked down, but it will not be knocked down according to our experience because they already paid off, uh, paid off the judge uh, that's going to have the uh, case heard. One thing that they usually do, the illegal against mafia, is that they have a, c a court case um, outside of the uh, computers of the court. So when people go look for that case, it is not found, and the case usually is isolated, not done with other cases. Uh, you know about, it, it is done about 6 o'clock at night, not in regular, um, in the regular um, not in the regular uh, business hours. And also, uh, after the 30 days notice, uh, she was supposed to, we were supposed to get a day, uh, a notice according to New York State that gives two weeks to the uh, tenants back us. Uh, we received the notice today, the, 20, the 30th of August 2016, and the date is um, September 7, 2016.
that's not uh, 14 days. So you know that they are violating many laws here and they're doing things illegally.